And hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Trucking, well it's not Trucking Tuesday quite much, welcome back to the streams though. Um, basically it's the last few days of the World of Trucks missions and I need to get these, I want to get these last three done. Uh, so we're going to go jump onto URL 2, we're currently in Bratislava, something like that, and we're going to um, go and drive up and get this delivered. Um, that's basically it, I think. Uh, straight away, we've got to extend our contract. We'll look for our um, World of Trucks missions. I believe we're going up to London. For this last job, these last ones. Um, why isn't London coming up for the delivery locations? I'm definitely in the right location for it. Bratislava. Yeah? That's not gonna. That's not helping. Then if I can't find the delivery, oh there we go. Right up at the top. That's a refresh. That's good. It's gonna be a bit of a long one to start off with. Um, we've then got Cologne, which is where is Cologne? Which is there. Which means we're gonna te teleport back to Frankfurt to go to to do that one. Unless we can drive back, maybe. And we've also got, no, we've already done Stuttgart. What's the other one? We've already done Munich. There's another one that we need to do. Manaheim. There we go. So it's just below Frankfurt. So we could teleport to Frankfurt to get both of them done. But these are basically the three we're going to get done today. Uh, maybe get some ones that um, on the job as well and there's just a random person standing in there's a person standing in the middle of the road there I don't know why I'm getting a bit of desync though that's not good okay we've got like 2,000 people on the server at the moment Let's be careful of this guy randomly standing in the middle of the road. I don't want to crash. I kind of did that on the way here. It's only a bit of a red light. But this desync is... Slightly annoying. By slightly, it's quite annoying. Let's, um... Quickly just uh, refresh my connection to the shadow and hopefully that'll help. Don't know why it's got the pro there's a problem, but uh, it just there is. Let's try restarting and hope that'll work. But yeah, basically I'm just getting these last three missions done. We've got only got a few days left on them. And I'd rather get them done... Before next Tuesday, before Tuesday, because obviously if Tuesday comes, um, we won't have them done. So that's why I'm doing them today on a Saturday. Okay. All right, we're back. Is that a connection issue? Not, no worries there. But we'll get this um, Mercedes dealer. Okay. Oh, no. Don't want to crash. I guess we just drive around the back to get this uh, pick up. A 
just a matter of getting the pick up and delivery. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. Strain it up a little bit. Nice. Now we'll head all the way straight before we turn. There we go. Guy just reverse it randomly, okay. Off we go then, all the way up to London, which is the which is the last delivery location, I believe, for these. Um, I think they finish on the sixth. And today is currently well, it's now just gone midnight to the fourth. So, so the last delivery location, three days left of the event. So it kind of helps that I'm uh, all already down here to do the longest job to start off the day. Don't really need high beams on when they've got some street lamps. We're all good there. But I've been, I've been enjoying doing these like, little deliveries. Um, obviously some of them have been a little bit of a pain, not going to lie. I had that big problem where I was about to finish off a delivery and we got toppled over. Which was annoying, but I ended up redoing that delivery. In fact, I think I did that delivery to another location. Um, but I've done all the, I think this is the first ones I've done all on multiplayer as well of the water trucks missions. Which uh, sometimes I don't, I don't, I, yeah, that before I wasn't doing them on multiplayer. Just doing solo, but um, doing these missions are always good. You get you get like extra kind of DLC and skins and that kind of stuff. And um, cruiser fifty five, that's good. But yeah, you get you get uh, you get a few uh, a few little additions, which you then can sell on if you want. Because obviously, um, if you guys didn't know. Washington's coming to uh, American Truck, so if I, as soon as I get enough Steam credit, I can go and get that one. We can do some uh, some journeys up into uh, Washington uh, and play some more American Truck on here. Oh wow, there's a just a tanker on uh, on fire there. That's a new random roadside event that I've seen as well. So I guess they keep adding more in, otherwise I just don't see them before. So, um, I guess it's a little bit of both. Yeah, it, is a, it definitely could be a little bit of both. Obviously, we've got, oh, we've got road works here. We always seem to find road works wherever we're going. But it's no worries. We'll get to our delivery location. We'll get our drop, get our delivery dropped off. Um, either drive back to Cologne or Manaheim. Uh, if there's nothing to drive back to, we'll go. We'll teleport to Frankfurt, and then we can do it quick. Do a quick delivery. I think we'll drop down to Manaheim first because it's the the furthest delivery point away. Yeah, we've got everything kind of worked out for what we're doing today. I have to get everything worked out. Apart from that, I'm uh, I'm having quite a lot of fun with it. Oh, like I said, I just always have fun with trucking. Just a matter of just relaxing, driving, and uh, getting from A to B. This is some music as well. Nice. Just like I said. Just drive and get there. It'll be okay. 
A little bit tired today though, I've been uh, having, well I've not been having a bit of trouble sleeping, I've just not slept as much as I normally do. Trying to get myself back onto a proper sleep schedule like I normally had, uh, without staying up too late. Because sometimes I just end up staying up too late for some reason. No idea what this guy's doing, reversing everywhere. Did he miss the gas station maybe? I don't know. Possibly. Either way, you shouldn't be reversing because that's unsafe. What if your driver came up behind you, didn't see you, and crashed into you? Then it's your fault, not theirs. You should always follow the road rules, even if you've missed it. Like, if you know if you missed the gas station. There we go, and if that guy get, ends up crashing, um, yeah, I don't think that'll be fun for him. But yeah, I just had problems with sleeping the last couple of days. Um, like, um, four or five hours a night. That's not good. Normally, I need to, fun to function correctly, I need eight hours sleep. But we'll see. So I'm not, I'm not as uh, I'm not as I normally am today. Like uh, how I normally feel. So it's going to be a bit more of a relaxed stream today. I actually haven't even priced up what steering wheel is for the U for for me to buy in the UK. Um, yeah, because kind of leaning forward for every game is not good. If I if I lean back, it's not really that comfy either. It just depends on where I have to put my uh, the controllers. Is this a car or is this a truck? A truck. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Either way, it should be okay. Whichever way we sit and get comfortable. Just stream. Got a little bit of a dodgy nose still today. Kind of um, got over it for a little bit, but then it's going to slowly come back a little bit. It's like I've got a, a tickle in my nose, if that makes any sense. Possibly, I don't know. Either way, though. I don't even know how far the delivery is, but we're good. We'll get there in no time, we'll get it done. Uh, there's a driver on the, I think the driver's on this side. Mm -hmm. oh, there's a few more drivers coming down the other way. Mm -hmm. put, the cam put the cameras back on, put the lights back on so we can see where we're going. Just sit back and relax. Should probably get myself comfortable in the chair. But I don't crash either. There we go. That's comfy. Just about relaxing today, honestly. Just get these three deliveries done. That's all I want. To, all I need to do. It's gonna be a little chill, chill uh, trucking day today. At least I remember today to actually drink. But sometimes when I do streams, I don't forget to drink, which isn't good. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, another truck coming up. There we go. I don't know how far. Well, got to go all the way to London for this, so it should be fine with our with the amount of uh, gas we have. Should have any troubles. Um, then Frankfurt, well, Cologne and uh, Mannheim. If we do drive back, we will. But if we if there's nothing for us to drive back for, there's, then we'll just teleport. Just the easiest way to do it, isn't it? Most efficient. But yeah, I just like doing these deliveries. I've thought about just cutting the deliveries down into like one drop off and then another drop off and another drop off. But if I just stream it all and I just cut the and I just release it as a streaming bod, it makes the most sense in my in my eyes. Really. So uh, that's what we'll do. Awesome. Let's stop that so we can just uh, catch some speed up while we're going down there. 62, not bad. I'm just starting to pull off now. There we go. Maybe not halfway through on fuel. Don't know how many deliveries we've done, but we're not halfway through on fuel yet at all either. Just a nice little drive. Eight hundred on miles. No, that's not bad. Just chill, music, driving, and hopefully not crashing. Sometimes we do crash, but oh well. We've had a few bad crashes in the past, but uh, quite chill at the moment. We're fine. I bet now we don't need to turn in. Hey, Sin, how you doing? How are you doing today? We're on our last, our th th third to last delivery for the water trucks missions. Chilling at work for another three hours. Fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just having a chill drive. Got these last three deliveries to get done to get the water trucks missions complete. We've only got a few days to get them all done as well. get some uh, free DLC from it and all that stuff. You can either keep the DLC or sell it. Is that one of those kind of things? It's just slow down for the turns. No idea what I'm supposed to do. You've got no idea what you're supposed to do at work or no idea what you're supposed to do with the missions. <laughs> oh have you got have you got a Euro truck now? Um Nice Well there's ten deliveries I've kind of got a list of everywhere to go, um, or everywhere you have to go from. Uh, the delivery location now is London, uh, and that's what it's going to be until the end of the end of the uh, end of the missions things, which I think happens Monday, the end. So basically, you've got to get it all done before the end of Monday, or before Monday, and uh, Prague, Munich. Frankfurt, Berlin, Mannerheim, Stuttgart, uh, Bremen, uh, Cologne, Bratislava, and Amsterdam. And you basically have got to pick up the. You've got to do a deli each each one of those deliveries to London. Um, and the deliveries 
that it is is the mission ones which are for uh, the water not the the racing teams so if I get to a good location I'll um, kind of show you what the race trucks look like and I don't know why I've got still got the high beams on um. It's always good when people do use the indicators. Oh, I should probably, uh... Do they look different on the screen when you pick them up? Keep watching as much as I can. Um... Alright, we've got a bit of a straight here. So this is kind of like the truck. The trailer. So, the, mo the majority of the ones I've had are all looking similar to this. They're just probably different coloured trucks. Obviously, you can't really see it now. Because it's night time. But, um... They're the kind of trucks you need to do. And you need to do all ten of them to be able to get the mission complete. Uh, I did it last year. Uh, but I think last year it was only you had to do ten different countries to Sweden or from Sweden. Whereas all these ones are ten different delivery locations. And the location changed every three days. But you had, and if you did... You, you, got, um, you get so much for just doing ten different deliveries. Um... But you get you got a lot more if you did each delivery to each different location. Um, but I just done like a few each day kind of thing. So it is pretty easy. It's just that um, this one, Bratislava, is probably the longest one for this mission, and maybe Prague as well, because uh, the distance wise to London. Um, I believe you need going east pack as well. Your home city is Prague. Nice. Well, that'll be the easy one then. Um, but yeah, my home city is in the UK, so... It's a little bit of a tricky one doing that. <laughs> but uh, I've got I've got a base in the UK. I've got a base up in Norway, Frankfurt. So I'm going to go up to London now to drop these off. Then possibly teleport back to Frankfurt if you've not got a mission back to either Mannheim or Cologne. What do you get for doing it? You get things like... Um, I think I've got something already in my... You, you, you get uh, like exclusive skins for trucks. An exclusive... Um, basically, you get, uh, you get a lot of exclusive things. But um, the exclusive things you do get are like additions or... Um, call it virtual items yeah the virtual items but the virtual items themselves um, can be traded on the steam store so I've still got the old one from last year which was um, what was it the Scandinavia you got like a Scandinavia pack and I've got like um, my truck is sits on um, like when you get the 3D view of your truck in the menu, mm -hmm. it my truck sits on a wooden dock in the middle of a frozen on a frozen lake uh, with the northern lights above it, and I think that's like five dollars or something mm -hmm. it's worth because you can only get them from these missions uh, or or if you sell them. So a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people will do the missions and then it'll come to uh, you have to claim them off the World of Trucks website so you have to do all World of Trucks missions as well so you have to have your account linked to World of Trucks as well um, a lot of people will do the missions uh, get the gifts from them and then sell them on the Steam store and then without how much they make for it is enough for the next DLC so if they've got American truck and Euro truck, they'll do all the missions that they do throughout every year, and they've got enough money to buy DLC for the next DLC release. So it's always beneficial. It's always pretty good. You're never gonna go without getting good stuff, I guess. I think we have to slow down for this turn. 
The only problem with the, the night time now is it gets really dark. I used to be able to tell. I used to be able to see in the dark, but since I've now got two bright lights in front of me, I can't really see in the dark that well. I could kind of turn the gamma up, but then it just doesn't look the same. You definitely can't. I can't see anything in my rearview mirror at all. Like, there's like nothing in my rearview mirror at all. You can see. It's pretty fun. But yeah, you should be able to blast out ten. No worries at all. Um. I actually need to need to talk into how much it's going to cost to get a steering wheel, but to be fair, I'm already planning on going back to back over to Pack South next year in Texas. So um, a lot of the money I'm making in my summer job this year, when it starts next month, will be going towards going back to America, especially since I'm going for a week longer than I did this year. Either way, it was really good, and. Um, if I do have any spare money, it will be going either towards computer, uh, probably towards computer upgrades first, because the way I play my game at the moment is through like an advanced team view I might have mentioned, um, and I can't do steering wheels uh, on there, and it won't be probably plug into my computer anyway because I've got limited uh, USB sockets. At the moment, my all my USB sockets are like plugged in with uh, mouse, keyboard. Mouse, keyboard, controller, uh, what else? Headphones, a mic, and Wi Fi. And then I've got one free USB port. <laughs> and I think ones I've got, like, I've got my keyboard and my mouse in, like, an adapter to plug into one as well, because they can't. Can. I'm a controller. But, like, my microphone, um, and my headset need default the their own controllers, other than their own plug. It's a bit of a mess, but it works. But either way, we're I don't know how far away now we are. I don't normally like keeping these on seven hundred miles. It's not bad. I think we've got someone coming up behind us as well still. I just go off the truck's GPS, I don't care about locations or anything, it's just... If the GPS says we're going that way, we'll go that way. And I've obviously got the two... G I've got the GPS in the truck, and I've also got the GPS in... Um, uh, on the windscreen as well, so I can look at both of them. One thing that you do have to do... Um, mm -hmm. Is... The one problem with playing on multiplayer... Is you've got to sleep every now and again if you want to do just do um, cargo missions and don't do water trucks missions, because the cargo missions have to be refreshed every now and again, which means sleeping. Um, but I normally just do the water trucks missions because they're the easiest ones. Every one of your friends have got the water trucks missions as well, so if you all take a water trucks mission, you can all go from the same A to B location uh, and cut full-on convoy it to, from one pickup point to the drop-off point which is always good and I believe you get a bit a uh, bit more money doing the cargo missions uh, doing the water trucks missions than you would on general cargo it also works more better online as well because it's real time say it's like six it takes eight, it says it will finish in eight hours so that'll be fine Yeah, my ho my home base being in the UK means I've got the UK style truck. Because I normally look at the GPS to see if there's someone coming up on the side of me, and then I can still look over then if I need to. Uh, otherwise, than that, it's fine. This guy's joining onto the motorway. Has he got another? Oh, he's got one of the other ty other designs for the missions. That's crazy. Yeah, so uh, there's different truck truck styles you can get for the for these kind of missions, and that guy's got another 
one of the, the other design. Which is basically just three race trucks. I think people have got just tyres as well before that I've seen. Then again, being on a... Oh, we're going, are we going to the ferry or are we going to... I think we're going to go to the ferry because we're going to London. That's going to be fun. Like Euro 2 for like 2,000 people at the moment. All going to the same kind of location. Well, it's not all of them. But it's a big majority of them going there. Going to have fun. Just going to make sure I don't crash. Because that wouldn't be good. And I say that as I start desyncing a little bit. And as I say, desync him. Also, damage. Six, two, and one. now. It's a problem when you try and control one computer through another computer. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of DC can end up crashing. Normally it doesn't happen that much, but I believe there's a bit of an internet issue in the UK at the moment. But we'll see. But hope my shadow might actually be moving from... Uh, from France, where it's currently based, to a UK location, which means I should get a bit of a better, bit of a better ping to it. At the moment I'm getting like 50 millisecond ping, um, or lower. I, I kind of get like about 20 to 30. But um, I should get quite a lot lower at the moment. At the moment, the, the Euro server is in France, so. Going from a, Fran a French base a shadow system to the French server is only like 11 ping. But I should be getting that to the UK and then 11, like 50 ping back to America. Not America. Europe. France. We'll all see what happens. But yeah. Plus the fact we always be limited on water trucks missions. Sometimes it's fun to do a, a non water trucks mission and just um, get as fast as you can because <laughs> it logs um, it logs the speed you get the delivery done at, or like the fastest speed you get to. So if you're on a water trucks mission, you're limited to 56 miles an hour or 90 kilometers an hour. Um, something about that. But I uh, try and push it as much as I can, just because it makes for uh, it makes more fun. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know why. It's just something relaxing about just driving and go with me to be trying to follow the road rules when you can, even though I don't have a, a, a driving license. Um, so I probably break some road rules anyway. A lot of people on the server does, but it's funny because you just get to see them get blocked or you can easily report them. And the good thing, like I said, about streaming it and recording it is if something was to happen and you need to report them, you've got the video proof to then give it to them for, uh, for the case. Because for certain events, they have to, you have to provide video proof of um, the offences being committed. We've had one where uh, they blatantly blocked us. Um, me and my friend were reported them, and then within a minute they got kicked because obviously an admin had found where they were and saw that we were blocking people. And because the admin witnessed it happening, they got blocked. But it's always good when you have uh, active admin administrators and moderators that actually care about the community and care about people following the rules to some degree. Like, with my shadow, I can have, um, 
I can have a random cut of um, what's it called? I could randomly um, lose connection to the shadow, which means my truck's in the middle of nowhere, and it could be blocking people. So, um, I could I could then turn around and say, well, it's not my fault. But I try my best to, I, there is ways I can still, like, on my, I can shut it down from my phone. I can play it on my phone, if even. Like, I can legitimately load up this on my phone. And have the same thing on. Um... There we go. So yeah, I could I could load up uh, the same application on my phone, play this this game through my phone, still using the same controller and everything, and I could even stream it as well if I really wanted to, um, as like a backup. But then I won't obviously have face cam and that kind of stuff on. But it's still a good possibility that if anything was to happen, I've got the backup and been able to like quickly reconnect to it. Unless the shadow system goes down, but if the shadow system goes down itself, uh, the computer, the the shadows on, will get shut down, and then I'll get logged out of um, water trucks. That way, there's always backups. Pretty simple to do. Oh, and I've just realised I've got um, what's it called as well now? They're um. Video thing, not the video thing. The fan thing, fan progression. I think that's what it's called. Something like that. I like how I'm slowly moving myself forward again when I'm cute, when I'm trying to sit back and relax. I'm just not used to it, honestly. Miles, hey, thanks for the host. And everyone currently over there, because obviously the sub uh, button thing. Everyone, uh, everyone getting their uh, extra sparks being subbed over there with Miles. I'm watching. If there was anyone there, or unless everyone's AFK, okay, either way, hope everyone's doing well. We're currently doing our. Th uh... Hey, Stormy! We're currently doing our last three missions uh, for uh, the water trucks. Uh, uh, event. So we're currently driving all the way from Bratislava in a country I've forgotten the name of <laughs> uh, to London. And then we've got two other locations that we need to pick up from to go to look back to London as well for the last delivery location for this uh, event. We're just having fun, we're just driving and uh, we'll be there in no time, really. I don't even know how far away we are now. 500. It's not bad. Kind of speed limited though, so uh, it's all good. Can't really go any faster than 55 because of the speed limiter. Only on water trucks missions though. Sometimes we just like to uh, not do water trucks missions and just um, see how fast you can go. I think I've went up to 96 miles an hour before. Which is 155 kilometers. So we have fun sometimes. We just race each other. When I do have a convoy. It was good. I have to go hands free then for a second to uh, mm -hmm. blow my nose. But yeah, we should start hitting traffic on this side of the channel at some point. Before we get to. Uh, I think we're going to go to the ferry. Most probably we're going to go to get to the ferry. But either way, just uh, relax this to music and drive. Get these last three missions down. So, no, 
what time it is. Only half past midnight, not bad. But I've been doing this delivery for half an hour already as well, so that's about 40 minutes. Then again, it is kind of a long delivery. You're already in here. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't mind people just like, um, what's it called? I don't mind, um... Ah, no worries. Yeah, I don't mind people lurking. Lurkers are always fun. And always good. Get the numbers up and, um... Even though I can't see people chatting, I can see people there. Just because the, num the, the, like, the little digit at the top of the screen goes up. But you just know, even though... I can, I can, I can really talk to myself if I really have to. <laughs> I've done YouTube for so many years that uh, talking to myself is kind of second nature. They've not pulled over properly, have they? Mm -hmm. Are you playing Wolfenstein? I've got Wolfenstein, I've just never played it before. Because mm -hmm. I know someone's, I think they might be bringing out a new one or a new DLC or something. Yeah. I've got, but I've got the ones that are released at the moment on uh, PC because obviously I don't, I don't have an Xbox. I have an Xbox controller because that's how I'm playing the game. But uh, yeah, I don't have um, I don't have uh, an Xbox to play on. So um, I deemed it that it was cheaper for me to buy the games that I was playing mm -hmm. through uh, Shadow, uh, through uh, Game Pass. Than paying for Game Pass constantly, it just made more sense because I was playing Forza, so I, I bought Forza. Uh, I was playing, uh, and I already had Sea of Thieves because I won it on Miles's birthday stream thing. I won a key for that, so uh, it was just, it just made more sense that I just bought Forza outright than uh, pay uh, eight pound a month for it. When, say, if it was like four months in the line, eight times four is probably as much as the game is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you get free, if you get free game pass, or someone buys game pass for you, it's always good. Then. I remember going to a. Um, to a gaming event in the UK, EGX, and um, every day they were just handing out one month Game Pass keys, and I was like, "Oh, Game Pass! Never heard of it before." And then I realised, obviously, Sea of Thieves was coming out, so I used it for Sea of Thieves. Uh, and this was like I had, I, I, I was getting about three one month Game Pass uh, codes. A day at the event and the event went on for four days so I had about a year's worth of game pass for free for Sea of Thieves and then obviously I had to pay for it so it made more sense doing it that way but yeah as it seems like it we're heading to uh, heading to the ferry you get 50% off with membership or Game Pass or something. One month uh, makes the game so cheap. Yes, and I'm sh crashing. That's how bad my shadow is now. My shadow's just gone. Whatever. Um. Seems to be okay now though, but 7% damage on the truck. Probably have to repair it before I go down to, well to be fair, if whatever happens I'll be repairing the truck. But yeah, so it was like the last month of my of my Game Pass being free, and I, uh, well, no it wasn't. It was like a few months after me starting to buy my Game Pass, I just realised it will just be cheaper me buying the full game. So that's what I did. So I had my, for my last bit of Game Pass, I got the the games for for cheaper. And I got the Gold Edition one as well, so I had everything, all the Ultimate Edition. The guy coming up behind me pretty quickly.
Yeah. But it, it, like I said, it just makes more sense doing it that way. One thing I probably wanted to try is um, PlayStation Now. Because I believe the PlayStation Now, you can play all the games on PC that's on PlayStation Now. Um, so if that is possible, I just don't know if you can play it on con on an Xbox controller. Because that would be, be the ultimate troll, won't it? You buy uh, PlayStation Now, or you get PlayStation Now on, uh, on PC. So play the games on PC, but with an Xbox controller. That'd be like the ultimate troll on every PlayStation game. But it's a matter of, would it be worth it to do that? Um, yeah, there is plenty of games on there that I will actually play. So, we'll just have to see. A little bit of a yeah. I, I'm just I've just got my cruise control on, so I'm not speeding at all. It's just they're not able to drive properly. I can just hear them beeping in the background. It's like I'm I'm, I'm got my cruise control on. Can't go any faster. Like you do you. I'm just doing doing me and. Uh, Yeah. I was going to say, I hear the car coming up somewhere. Weird. Honestly, no clue what they're doing in that car there. You've got to be careful with the people on ca in cars. They just like to troll you. And if they do, I just ban them. I, well, I don't ban them. I, I report them straight away to get them banned. <laughs> Happened a few times. Like, um... One, legitimately, because cause they're so difficult to drive with. Um, going down the... Just going down the street. One, uh... Bu it bumped into me. Bumped into the side of me. Uh, because it bumped off the curb, and that's just how the physics works. And uh, they, they, they honestly went into charge straight away and said sorry, so it was fine. But if it's like if they've if they've done it on purpose, I've got the video proof. I can cut out the clip and um, bye bye to them. Allowed on multiplayer servers. <laughs> just how it works. I've only been playing multiplayer for a couple of years now as well. It was about two years that I've been playing multiplayer. Four more to go for 1,300. Four more... I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, wow, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I should, I should know the numbers off by heart, but... I don't really care about the numbers. All, all the only number I care about is getting towards the two thousand mark for possible the possibility of becoming partnered at some point. Um, obviously, they're doing the the second round of the Ember testing at the moment, but I'm in the UK. I can't do any of the Ember testing. They only allow the people people in the US to do Embers. So I want I want to I want to be my my goal is to be partnered for Pack South twenty twenty. Because I went to PAX South not this year, first time in America, first PAX, amazing. And um, the setup they had and everything, I I'd love to get partnered for the next year. I was the only, uh, from the amount of people I spoke to, I was like the only English person that went to the event for Mixer kind of thing. Am I driving a bus? No, I'm driving a truck. That's why the game's Euro Truck Simulator. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was yeah the first one that applied for. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I, did, I had another, uh, I don't know, another person that was in the Embers for all, the first beta, whatever it's called, Alpha Beta. It's the first test. And, um, mm -hmm. they, um, they, they, they managed to reach the payment threshold. They, uh, even though they didn't stream as much, but it still worked. A lorry. Oh, a lorry, a truck. Yeah, this guy doesn't know what lane he's in. I'm just on the Euro, uh, the Europe, uh, the, the UK drive. Because the UK drive, uh, you, you sit on the right side, but drive on the left. I'm just trying not to crash into this guy if you start slowing down or speeding up or whatever. I just like to stick the cruise control on. But yeah, I'm in my own truck. I'm in, I'm in a truck, towing a trailer with a truck on. Pro I could probably show if I get to a... There we go. Go back to the sensor view. But yeah, even though I'm in, on, on the Euro, the European continent, I'm a uh, UK seated. Just because it's easier for me to be on this view. I'm used to playing on the American trucks on the other side, but it, I want to learn to drive on this side because I'll be doing that if I do get, when I do get my my full license. Like at the moment, I've only got like my provisional learner's license. Um, so uh, it doesn't mean I can actually drive. Well, it means I can drive if I've got a learner, if I've got a like a driving instructor in the car with me. Or I just want to go for a joyride, but I won't do that. I don't advise people breaking the law of joyriding. Um, it's quite funny though, because I know there was like a news article from America where a five-year-old watched a YouTube video on how to drive because he was hungry and he drove him and his uh, uh, like three-year-old, like like his younger brother, younger sibling, and he was five, and got into the car and drove them to the nearest McDonald's to get takeaway, or get a McDonald's because they were hungry, and they. The, the police couldn't charge him with anything because they didn't break any laws apart from they didn't have a driving license. But because they didn't break any rule, uh, lo, lo, rule uh, laws or anything, they didn't see the point in. Like, they didn't cause a crash. They followed every every like every, even who's kind of crazy. Your stepbrother works in Coventry for a transportation company. Nice. Been to Coventry a few times. When um. When the Insomni Gaming Festival used to be at, uh, in Coventry, uh, I used to go down there and, um, work for them. But I started off as a festival volunteer, and then I found out they needed, um, like, stage crew, camera people, and that kind of stuff, and I I've, I've did cameras in the past. I did a bit of media at college, um, and then I did, like, some freelance camera stuff, and, um, so we ended up keep carrying on with them for a little bit, going to Coventry, until they moved to the NEC. And then I carried on with them for the NEC for a little bit. Um, and I think they moved, they did one event in Scotland and that was my last event I did with them. Um, I still talk with some of them every now and again. But it got a bit, um, my schedule kind of got a bit messed up with what I could and couldn't do when I would and wouldn't be available. Yeah. So the only the only kind of bits of Coventry I know is I also stayed in Coventry when it was EGX because it was cheaper to stay in Coventry and then get the train from Coventry to Birmingham International Airport for the NEC each day for the event than it was to stay in Birmingham. Um so yeah, I only ran the train station, uh, the bit of the city centre, and to uh, the Coventry football ground. But um, yeah, that's th that's a throwback. That was 
2014, 2015 I started with them. Yeah, it must be at least 2014. No, or was it 20? I can't remember. It was 2014 or 2015. Elmer's Coventry, once in 2015. Uh, they live in America. You have my whole. Uh, you have your whole life. Our family. Yeah. It's like, I, I would love to move over to America at some point. Somewhere with decent internet speeds. <laughs> Uh, like Google Fiber kind of thing. Because the majority of people I play with and the times I stream on are American times. Um, but yeah, I've been... My my main sleep schedule is American time and it has been ever since uh, college. Like, I, I struggled that much trying to get into college mm -hmm. because my natural sleep pattern was I fall asleep at 7am in the morning in the UK. And then wake up at 5 p.m. at night, and that's the whole day gone from college. Or like a whole work day gone. I've got a good balance of it now, though. I um, I sometimes keep my keep myself up a little bit longer if I need to do something in the on UK time. Um, like uh, in January when it comes up, no, not January in June. Uh, it comes up to my summer job starting again. Which means every weekend or so, like from Wednesday to Tuesday, I will be away at events and festivals, working at events and festivals. And then, um, what's so I think the longest event I've done, I, I, I left on the Tuesday and got home the following Tuesday. I worked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and travelled back Monday, but didn't get home till Tuesday. Um, that was a crazy event. I think this is the, that's the first event I'm doing this year again as well. Uh, but I've been with the same company for a few years now. It's quite fun. I, I enjoy camping out. I enjoy uh, the festival experience and working behind the scenes. Get to be, bump into some musicians and see them live as well. And other celebrities. It's kind of, it's kind of fun. And then I've had some like uh, like the shortest events is like I go away on a on a Thursday, work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, get home Monday, kind of thing. Um, there's an event this year that's uh, that I, I'm not able to do this year, but I did it last year. Was working Saturday, Sunday, so we literally travel down on the Friday, come back on the Monday. But they started changing all the festivals to make your own way, and some of them I just can't. Uh, and the majority of the ones I do go to, they provide transport to. And then I just camp at the event as well. Hey, Richie, how are you doing today? But yeah, the first event this year was the, my best event I've ever done. And my best event last year, uh, I got in contact with another company that works at, works at them. Uh, and they... I ended up keep, keep, keeping in contact with them and met them again two other events last year. And at the end of that, they ended up offering me a job to work at some events this year with them. This is going to be fun. I'm on the wrong side of the road. I'm not. I'm in Europe. I'm on the right side of the road for Europe, but I'm on the wrong side of the road for because they're the, they drive on the wrong side of the road. So I understand that part of it, but for the purposes of where I am location-wise, I'm on... The correct side of the road for the country. Although I will be going into, over to the UK in a, in a little bit. We're going over to we're going over to Calais now. It's either the ferry or I'm hoping it's not the ferry because the ferries are very busy on the multiplayer server. And we're going up to London to get this delivery dropped off. And then I've got two more to do today. Two more deliveries. Don't know how long they'll take, but um, this is from Brat Bratslavia. And I've got Clone and uh, Manaheim to do. Which is quite funny because isn't like Clone and Manaheim places where they have um, European gaming events? Like Dreamhack, isn't that in Cologne kind of thing? I'm on the correct side for you, but the wheel is on the wrong side of the road. You're driving them. Well, yes, but the truck I bought uh, is for the, for the UK base. So... Mm -hmm. Even though I'm driving in Europe, it's the UK setup for the driving, which you're legally allowed to do. Uh, about a third of fuel as well, that's okay. 
Hopefully this guy picks up the pegs because um don't want to crash into the back of them. If they don't want to crash up to the, into the back of them. Uh, what? Overtake. I can't. I'm going to try and overtake. Depends on what that. Whoa! That guy just like crashed. Completely crashed out there. And I've just real. I just saw that half of my screen got taken up by an advert from Lutz. <laughs> awesome. UK vehicles have the steering wheel on the right side. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know why the UK uh, drives on the left side of the road with the driver's side on the right side of the vehicle? Knights? No. Surprisingly. It's because um, if you're the, the majority of the population are right hand are right handed. Which means your right eye dominant. Dominant. Uh, so you. Bye bye. <laughs> you just don't see that if you're not playing multiplayer. You just drive down the road and flip. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, you. The majority of the population of the UK and even America as well are right-handed, so it makes it would make the most sense in the UK because you're right-handed, you're right-eye dominant, uh, you're able to see more for it's something like your your sight and that kind of stuff. Maybe that's why no one is good at driving in the US. Yeah, but if you're looking in your mirror, you can see you can see in your mirror. Through your right, from because it's on the right side of you, so you're gonna see in the mirror, and you're gonna see ahead of you, and past the other cars. I know in the US we drive on the opposite side to rebel. Yeah, it's the only reason they started doing it in America was literally because uh, they want to be independent from the UK, uh, and that's one of the main reasons America did it. And then a lot of other countries followed America's example. Because America is bigger than the UK, and because the most of the cars were being built in America at the time, so it just made more sense for people to do that. I'm surprised there's actually not that many people on the on the train here. Um, how many countries drive on the left? Um, I don't know. I know you can Google it <laughs> because it's all, um, they're mainly a lot of British occupied places driving left uh, or places that were British occupied. Um, I'm not sure if there's, there's even some locations where they go for the, the countries are connected by land. Yeah, Japan. Uh, I know Japan's one. I think China's another one. And I think there's a location in China where there is a legitimate road point where... What's it called? A, a road point in China to, or, or, or the border where they do some come like some weird finangled road... Uh, reversal side thing where whoever's on the left goes to drive on the right and whoever's on the right goes to the left so they kind of overlap each other and there's a it's a it's a weird little system they've done to do that but if that's what they need to do to make it work then uh yeah i'm getting a lot of desync and i'm gonna crash D6 not good. My mouth's off from my words. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it is on my end. It's like it looks like it's correct on my end. 
Um, I just know as far as long uh, the longer the webcam's on for, I think the de it desyncs a little bit more. Um, not really tested it that much. It's weird to hear my face. I've started. I've done webcam for a few, uh, for a month or so now. I've done webcam for a few months, uh, for a month or so now. Ever since I started, like, got my new microphone, I started doing webcam, and I also got my green screen behind me. Yeah, I, I only like I did. Um, I, I I posted a picture before Pax South, so in January. I then did a face cam stream uh, from Pack South because I was the only one that had an internet signal. Surprisingly, the only person in the whole event of Pax South in America, the only person to get a phone signal was the tourist, because they could they, they deemed it, I could get charged extra for being a tourist for internet, even though it's all included in my data plan anyway. <laughs> well, up to twelve gig, which I didn't really use. To, I didn't use twelve gig at all. But for me being there for seven days I could use like two gigs of data each day at the event yeah so I did, I did a little bit of a stream at the event which worked well uh, I would love to do more streams from out and about but it all depends I can't really do I can't really do streams uh, when I'm working at events because obviously I'm working. And when I finish, I literally just want to sleep because I'm going to get back to work a couple of hours later. Um, but yeah, and I, I record them as well for I record the trucking, the like uh, trucking for trucking Tuesdays on YouTube. Obviously, this today is being a Friday now onto a Saturday. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it works. Do you know what this truck in front of me reminds me of? If anyone gets it, this truck in front of me right now, anyone understand, anyone guess what this uh, truck reminds me of? Nothing to do with the names, just the, just the truck itself. Or the cargo. Uh, I have been so busy with such, uh, you can't see it. Have you seen? Well, it's Toy Story Two. It reminds me of Toy Story Two because it's a giant um, cylinder, co concrete cylinder, or concrete pipe, whatever you want to call it. So it reminds it, every time I see a truck like this, it reminds me of Toy Story Two. Um, um, uh, uh, English. I have been it just been so busy moving. You've been moving house, I'm guessing, or moving location and that kind of stuff. Nice. Well, hopefully you're getting settled in okay. Oh, you should be able to see the truck now as it's turning, if it's turning. There you go, so you can kind of see it. Oh. That guy just bumped into the back of me. Well, it wasn't my fault you bumped into the back of me. I was tur I was turning around the corner and just going slow on it. That's your own fault. <laughs> Fifty cruising speed of fifty-five. There we go. You haven't set up yet. Yeah. Takes a while. So I've, I've only ever moved house once. And that was from my old house to this house. Uh, when I was 13 or something like that. Um, a long time ago. I, I can't even remember how many years ago. But 10 or so years ago. I know, I know what you meant, yeah. That's fine. Um, 
But yeah. So, um, that was the last time I moved, which was only mainly for going from a smaller house to a bigger house. The room I'm currently in right now was going to be my bedroom. But after part of the... Well, I'm in the, att I'm in the attic. I've got a sloped roof. And part of that sloped roof... Um, like the plasterboard started falling through. So that was where my bed was going to go. So I ended up moving my bed, in, my bedroom into the room next to me. Which this room's actually bigger than that room. But that room's obviously now my bedroom. This room's now my office. So behind where the green screen is, there's a hole in the ceiling that uh, still hasn't yet has yet to be repaired. And I'm getting notifications left, right, and centre right now on uh, Discord. Uh, we didn't. Uh, we did opposite, bigger to smaller. Yeah. Like for some for some people going from a bigger house to a smaller house is more efficient and better for them, and obviously you get rid of a lot of junk. We've gone from a from a smaller house to a bigger house. We went from literally three bedrooms upstairs, uh, uh, a little well three bedrooms upstairs, to a kitchen with a bathroom off the kitchen, uh, a dining room and a living room. With a little under the under the stairs, kind of area. Uh, I went from there to th th this house, which is technically four bedrooms, what well, still one bathroom, kitchen, separate living room, separate dining room. Uh, with understairs uh, storage and then two attic rooms so I took the whole attic for myself because I'm a little greedy like that <laughs> well it was, gonna, it was mainly going to be like the first room was going to be my attic room yeah, it was gonna be my bedroom and then the second room was going to be um, games room like we had a Nintendo Wii um, like me and my sister uh, I got we had an Xbox 360 at the time as well, uh, and I've got I've still got an Xbox original. So that was kind of a plan, but um, I can't remember how long into us being here we had to move everything in over there. I've only now just got the setup like this because where my desk is right now, I had the wardrobe because it was the only place in my room that could fit a only place in the in here that could fit a wardrobe. Can't fit a wardrobe next door because there's no space, not enough space. So, um, we took the wardrobe down a, few, a month or so ago when I moved my whole setup to, to be able to do webcam, green screen, lighting. And uh, tried to make it look, be as professional as I can do. I've played around with how the lighting is set up. I've played around with the green screen set up, uh, the chroma key and everything. I played around with it as much as I could do to mean there's not like any effects or... Um, what do you call it? There's not any breakages, there's not any, like, sh there shouldn't be any, like, uh, rigid, 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 what do you call it? There shouldn't be any artifact in that kind of stuff from the green screen, because of how I've got it all set up. A new web, new microphone, because the webcam microphone sounded shocking. Um, because obviously last time it sounded like I was a bit mumbled, I just realised that was a red light. What am I like? Is going through going through red lights and all that stuff. But um, I've got this set up in such a way that my green screen is literally I've got a dividing beam in my uh, call it a, a load bearing beam kind of above my head, and my green screen just about fits underneath it to give me as good as a green screen as I could do. No cut, no stop. Yeah, but you've got to be careful on multiplayer server on the multiplayer server because there can be moderators about that will kick you just for going through a red light. Now, where's my delivery location? 
Please say it's an easy delivery. Um. Why do I have to randomly reverse over there? I've never, I've never seen this delivery location. I have never, ever, ever seen this delivery location before. Let's just uh, pull it as far forward as I can. Get myself comfortable so I can do the reversing. Let's see what these bleep these pings are. Don't know why they're, they're beeping. Uh, right. Someone hit them. Oh, I didn't see. Yeah, it's the first time I've done, uh, I've done a... Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way, reverse him. Hey, it's gangster. I did it. There we go. What size box is that? The, the front of it is for me. The back part of it is for the trailer. 2% damage. It's not bad. Oh, nice. I've just got... So, one of, the, one of the bleeps was a message that... Um, uh, a package just been delivered to a, a friend's house. And the package that just got delivered is my new t-shirt design. Which, that looks pretty cool. That does look pretty cool. Yeah, it does look really good. Uh, the person that designed it uh, is a is a is a friend of mine. Uh, the original design, well, he gave me the the original design, which was just black and white. Um, and then he gave me a secondary design, which was the color design that was on my store before. Uh, and then I've edited that original black and white design to make the to make it that one. The color makes it, in my opinion. The colour design or the gold design. Because the gold design is kind of a limited edition one I'm doing. The gold. Yeah. I've made... I've, it's kind of got a gold effect to it. Or I tried to give it a gold effect. So it's not... It's not one colour gold. It's like a gold effect pattern. So I'll do that again. So you might be able to tell the difference. Like from where the head is, is a bit darker to where the chair is. But yeah. Um, right, so I'm going to see if I've, I can cross that off my off my delivery list now. But yeah, I've literally got a. Let me just fold some of these over. I've got a list of all the delivery locations. Uh, all, obviously, all the ones crossed out are the ones I've done. And my right end's not that neat. Hey Ancient, how are you doing today? And then I've got Manaheim and Cologne to do. So if I've got a delivery to Manaheim, I can do that. 
If not, if I've got a design, I don't think I've got a... Oh, in fact, they're not... Uh, what do you call them? I thank you for the follow, Ancient. Much appreciated. Let's go destination. So look for M's. So there's no mana hind. Is there a cologne? If there's a cologne, I can go drive down to cologne. If not, we're going to just... Uh... Yeah, I don't think there is. We'll just teleport down there. We'll, we'll, we'll do a bit of a cheat. We'll go down to Frankfurt and teleport. How's your stream? Stream's going good. We're um, one out of the final three down of deliveries. But... Right, what I'm going to say now as well is, look how much money I've got. 2,000, 2, 2,678,000. ,000. Yeah? So I'm going to teleport to Frankfurt. Quick travel, yeah. Which is closest to both Cologne and Manaheim. So uh, that means I can go get my deliveries done straight away. Get them, go pick them up and go drive. I've gone up 200,000 by just teleporting to another country. <laughs> That's how overpowered this game can be sometimes. Anyway. Oh no, I'm not doing external contracts here, am I? Unless there's a drive, like I said, if there's a drive down to Manaheim or drive up to Cologne. Preferably Manaheim first because that's the furthest away. Manaheim! Now, which one's the most expensive one? That's 3,000. 3,300. 3,300 it is! So we'll grab that and we'll go drive that, down, that one down and uh, get that done. Take my handbrake off. Uh, I can do with some fuel, so let's go to my fuel station at the garage. Always cheaper to get fuel from your own garage, I found out. If I can park into it, that is. That's the only button I've got still bound to uh, my keyboard, which is to refuel. Shouldn't be too much, though. I say it shouldn't be too much. It's getting close to a thousand. It's over a thousand. No, that's not bad. It's all, it was about a third. It's about a third, so that's okay. Now, I've got to remember. Drive on the correct side. There we go. Well, how have you been today, Ancient? But you can't believe you hadn't followed me. Yeah. So I have no idea what this that car's doing there. You been good? I've been doing pretty good as well. Uh, I've only been up awake for... Well, how long have I been awake for? <laughs> a few hours? I've only had like four hours sleep though, sadly. And my sleeping pattern's a bit messed up. I've only been live for an hour and a half. But apart from that, I'm uh, doing pretty good. I'm just waiting for these traffic lights to turn. You could use it. To well, technically, you have to on the multiplayer. Because the amount of people it's about. my pick up there. You kind of have to on the multiplayer and it's just more more involved. What do you call it? It's like you're more you're more in, involved in the sim in the simulator. I 
Um, yeah, used to be more involved in the simulator, I guess. The only thing I'm not doing in this part of the simulator is uh, using uh, what do you call it? Uh, using a steering wheel because I don't have one, and I can't do one with the. Uh, well, I, I could if I wanted to. If I really, really wanted to and get it all set up right and mess about with it all, I could use it use it for a, with a steering wheel. But at the moment, I'm just using a, a regular Xbox One controller, which is easier to do, really. Easy enough. It's just annoying every now and again when you get a bit when I get a bit of desync. You can start. You can tell I'm getting a bit of desync with the audio starting to crackle from the the game, like there. Which means uh, my control inputs to the control inputs of the game is a bit more delayed than it should be. But that's fine. It all works. But yeah, go down to Manaheim with this delivery. It's only going to be a short drop off. And. Um, <laughs> Then we're back up from Manaheim to London, and then we've only got Cologne to do next after that. So we shouldn't have a problem at all there. Which will be teleporting down, down to Manaheim, to Frankfurt. Maybe see if we can get a job up to up from uh, Frankfurt to Cologne. And then we'll do the, the last job. And that'll be all of the jobs done for uh, the Water Trucks missions this year. Well, this season. Yeah. The other thing as well with being on the multiplayer server is you have to use your your lights after a certain time to know people you're actually driving. So otherwise, if you don't have your lights on, people don't see where you're driving. But I I can't see people behind me on the GPS. But people could probably see possibly see me. So with me indicating, they know I'm changing lane. Or a moderator could just be watching me and seeing I'm not changing lanes, so um, they they could uh, ban me for or kick me from the server for not following the rules. But normally, when there's a lot of people, when there's not that many people around, you can kind of be a bit flexible with the rules. So what's this new level system? New level system? Oh, in chat, um, it's the new chat. Um, yeah, it's um, what do you call it? There's a certain way to call. There's a certain thing you call it, but I can't remember what the name of it is called right now. A fan progression. That's the one. Basically, the longer you, the longer you, the longer you watch, the more points you get. Uh, the more, and then, or the more time you chat, the more points you get. Um, the more sparks you spend, the more like, um, the more you interact with the channel, the following, the subscribing, all that kind of stuff. Uh, your fan progression goes up. So the people with the highest fan progression is the people that have been there for the longer times. So if someone comes into the stream. Like in a week's time, in like uh, two months' time, and says, "Oh, I watched your stream a month ago." It's like, no, you didn't, because you don't have anything. And they try and get like they try and get they they try and blag the way to say, "Oh yeah, I, I was watching the thing." And they're like, no. So it's it's a way to kind of counteract against people trying to cheat the system in some degrees. Good idea, bad practice. Yeah, it's a it's a bit annoying every time you rank up and it says level up. It's a little bit annoying uh, when that happens, but um, obviously they've only had it in beta to start off, to start off with. Um, so it's probably going to take a little bit more refining, like everything does when it's a new new feature. Yeah. Well, on, on Mouse's channel, I know the other day I was like level 40 odd. 
and um, what's his name? Um, Kenson was nearly like 51, 52. Or oh, about 50, was trying it nearly at 51, possibly. Okay. Let's get this delivery dropped off. I think you can just spam. You can just spam me with levels. No! Because the text, me the text, uh, the the points you get for chatting only adds up one chat point per minute. So if you spam multiple chat points a minute, like if you spam multiple, for, uh, if you spam multiple chat points, oh, uh, like spam chat it won't add up. But if it goes the opposite way as well, because if you spam uh, sparks and skills, uh, you get put up. But who, who, who really doesn't want people spamming them sparks and skills and that kind of stuff? So it kind of goes to show the support of uh, streamers. You, no, you can. Sp uh, any amount of sparks you spend adds to put adds towards points. Please say I've got easy parking. No, I've got a reverse in again. Right, see if we can get this this reverse in one. Possibly not going to work. Oh, I might have just got it. I might be getting it. 40,000 points for every 1 million sparks. Yeah, but who's at the moment's got 1 million sparks? Plus the fact the more sparks you get is if you you get more sparks if you subscribe. So many people are um, reversing right now. That should be good. Took a little bit, but it's working. There we go. Hey, Odin, how you doing today? <laughs> yeah, ancient though. You 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 know my policy on sparks. I think is that I'd prefer you to send them towards a partner streamer, um, so they actually get the benefits from them, or save them up, and then when I get a when I hopefully get my. Uh, <laughs> When I hopefully get my partnered uh, partner button, people just spam me with millions of sparks for the first time. <laughs> right, I need to find a delivery to London. Right there. Oh, we're going downwards and up. Interesting. My sparks go to miles. Yeah. Is my pickup point here as well? Where's my pickup point? Ha! My pickup point's directly next to me! That's funny. Like, I've just delivered right next to where I'm picking up. <laughs> I 
Never had that before ever. There we go. That person's lagging a little bit. Let's change that a little bit to a bit of a lot. Anyway. Off we go. Whoa. Stay on your own side of the road. The other thing is I've kind of got where uh, I've got reference points within this truck so I know where I need to be to be within the lines. That's good. So this is our second our second to last delivery for the water trucks missions that we need to get done before Monday. My voice just cracked there, that's not good. But um yeah, we'll go get this delivery down. And then we'll go get our last delivery as well. So we've got, got to get this up to London again. Same place we just delivered our last load to. Um, then from there, back down to Cologne. Probably mean Frank uh, teleport to Frankfurt and then drive up that way. And then that'll be mean we're definitely going to get our... Uh, I can't remember what we get from it for this. We'll get like an extra DLC pack for free. Which is always good. Uh, what time is it? We've got half an hour before Miles goes live as well. Don't think I'm going to be able to get it done before then. I'm glad I muted myself right then. So glad I beat myself. <laughs> but how are you today, old dude? Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of you have just probably just been uh, either AFK Mouse's channel or come in to get the extra sparks because you get points even with the hosts and that kind of stuff now, which is awesome. It also promotes uh, partners to host other channels. Um, so their subscribers and uh, the followers get points while still watching content that they, that, that, that. yeah, if that makes it, that makes sense, I think. So, for instance, if a, if a part if a partnered streamer what likes to watch other people other channels, you can do that. Yeah, I'm glad Miles is always hosted now as well. Uh, sitting there just. Uh, yeah, yeah, he came in and hosted me earlier. Yeah, but you could. I know people are then have like the. Some of the channels are back up. Like, uh. What channels would be on back up? Trying to think of an example of a back up channel. Um. Monster Cat. So if it's a channel that they don't watch or don't want to promote themselves, you can just put a Monster Cat and you can listen to Monster Cat and listen to music and get points. Sparks. Because honestly you won't be here without my house. No worries. I know my content's boring. <laughs> to, be, to be honest, I wouldn't be on Mixer if it wasn't for Miles. Like, um... I had my I started my my Beam account the day it officially launched. Um, thought nothing, but I just tried it a little bit. But at the time, I was a bit. I didn't have the I didn't have the knowledge of technology wise and bit rates and that kind of stuff or the internet to stream. Um, but I think it was Jax posted a message on Twitter about watching someone on mixer 
uh, which is Miles, who went over and watched and enjoyed the content and thought, oh, I'll actually try streaming on this platform. Uh, now I had the internet to back it up, I knew how to do it with, it with everything from testing it on other platforms. Good to watch Torch you. Yeah! <laughs> it's always a. Uh, yeah, 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 that's that make, that makes sense. Yeah, it's um Mix is just a ma an amazing community altogether. Like you get to meet you like um I found someone the other day. Like uh, I was watching I was watching uh Cookie the other day. Uh he was streaming from American Truck Simulator. Uh he ended up driving past someone with the tag in game of Mixer. We then found out they had a Mixer channel, they were live. And we started watching them, and we found someone f from that as well. Uh, it'll be next time Miles is hosting you all. Nice! <laughs> you, you, you've you got to have them sparks. You've got to, you've got to then spend the sparks. And all that good stuff. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I, um, with me having, me being a uh, subscriber to Miles and also pro, and also you being pro, you get the extra, you get the extra bonus points. Yeah. And it's only now that it is possible to do that, that you get the, it's, it's only been like the, fa the past couple of weeks, uh, that you're able to do that. Awesome, Stormy, thank you. Um... I'm trying to get a schedule sorted, but at the moment it's just like I'm sleeping can be out of the out of the window every now and again. I try and say I'm going to be streaming certain days, and sometimes that just doesn't happen. Is this an auto pay? Please say it's an auto pay. Yes. Hey, Gray. My bot likes to ban certain words. Fix my bot. There's nothing I can do about that about that word in my in my bot. Absolutely nothing I can do. What game is that? This is Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's currently only available on PC, sadly. Uh, being that because of the amount of key bind controls you can have in game. Uh, I've managed to like customize the controls mm -hmm. down to focus on the controls I mainly use on a control onto a controller. But then I still have a multiple controllers I need to use on multiple buttons. On a controller to use. <laughs> yeah. Getting around the system there, Stormy. I see what you're doing. Uh, yeah, the Rocket League ball. Yeah. I've also got a phone. And I've also got a cooler. And then on the other chair next to me. Uh, let me get the chair next to me. I've got a laptop. That's how I'm streaming all this. It's all getting streamed off that laptop. <laughs> no, you can't really... Um, in the base game, you can't... Um, call it in the base game you can't um, have um, people in this what's it called seats next year yeah so it's all just sped past yep but yeah you've also got So we'll just press the Minecraft button, I guess. Let 
But yeah, there's a. Uh, as soon as someone presses the music button, it turns on uh, my windscreen wipers in the game because if that's one of the hotkeys in the game. Like you've got windscreen wipers because it rains. You've got uh, high beams. You've got your horn. You've got you've got air horn, tr uh, truck horn. So many different buttons. Let's actually put the music back on. There we go. Yeah, don't try and find out all the words it blocks because my bot isn't isn't uh, too forgiving with that kind of stuff. I try and just keep my chat, even though like like it, it says I'm streaming on teen, because I keep it on teen purely for the fact that the music I'm listening to, I've got a few thousand tracks of music that I've not been able to listen to all of them. So sometimes they might say the odd word that is relevant is relevant for it being on Teen Stream. Let's go. No worries, great, uh, Greg. Um, but I try and keep my chat family friendly. The only button I don't have is an unlock button. I don't think I've got a thing set up for that. But apart from that, it all works. I'm trying to customise it every now and again when I can, as well. But yeah, the whole idea of this game is um, pick up, well, deliver to, uh, build your own Build your own trucking delivery company. Uh, build, uh, buy and customise your own trucks uh, and trailers even. Uh, and take deliveries from A to B and get paid for it. Uh, you've got to pay for petrol, you've got to pay for tyre wear, uh, wear and tear, any damage. Um, you get the water trucks missions which is set, set by... Um, the game it's well the developers themselves they'll set a certain mission like every so months or so where you can get like free DLC and a bit of desync as soon as I can hear the desync starting I'll try and pull over as soon as I can. It's quite a big deal, a big uh, desync issue right now. It seems to be fixed right now, so there we go. Anyway, it's fine. Um, but yeah, they've got the UK, the European truck version. They've got the American truck version. It's a, it's a fun game. And obviously, this is a multiplayer mod, so you get to play with friends. If you've got friends that play the game, who want to play the game with you, uh, or just by yourself, and you just see random stuff happening, like we saw trucks toppling over earlier. All in good fun. All in good fun. You just need to make sure you get comfortable. Because sometimes I keep forgetting to make myself comfortable. They're drinking water as well. But yeah, it's a 1 to, one to 20 scale map as well, which is crazy when you think about it. Because for every... Every 20 miles equals one mile, so I could literally drive from the south of Italy to the north of Norway in two and a half hours my time, whereas in real time it will take about two and a half days. Hold up, so, so the passenger side of the truck 
is on the UK side. Butcher on American side. Right. My truck layout is the UK side, is UK set up. So that means the driver's side, the driver is on the right side of the uh, right side of the truck. And then on mainland Europe, they drive on the right side, uh, on the right side lane. So I'm on a UK, uh, but my my main base for the truck and my company is the UK. So everything's built for UK spec. UK, if you have your company based in Europe, you can have the European truck style, where you would be, your driver's side would be on the left side of the truck, and you'd be still driving on this side of the road. But it just makes it, it just uh, is more comfortable for me to do it like this. Because I've, I've, I've drove like this for years with this game. I know the kind of market, know the kind of areas I need to be at. Uh, I don't know if you, uh, well, if you, do, if you do drive or don't drive, I know that one of the thing the, what to call it? One of the things uh, any driving instructor will say is find locations in the vehicle you can reference to know where you where your truck is on the road so i know where i need to be for my wheels to be just on the line but not on not past the line on both sides so i can comfortably drive it on this and then when i'm on american truck i dr the, i only drive i you can only get the american style trucks and the american mm -hmm. style driving Right, in the UK, the road you drive the you drive on the left side, but in Europe you drive on the right side. So as we'll be getting through the train or the ferry over to the UK, it just changes what side of the road we drive on. <laughs> Seriously? We've got nine percent damage because of that. We managed to at least get onto the other side of the road then. I've got the video proof so I can get them banned after that. So what uh one oh six oh Yeah, so that person's gonna get banned. Sometimes you have two drivers side. Don't know what that means. Anyway, we we're coming up towards either the ferry or the train soon. Oh yeah, that's for that's for learner drivers. I'm guessing. Mostly for like permit kids. But now, just use them. Just use car places. Yeah. Uh, random roadside event for me.
Was that a plane? Yeah. Well, I had to because of the random roadside event, so I've now got 10% damage. In fact, how far have we got left? 200 and odd. So, I'll technically playing on multiplayer, you should turn your random roadside events off, but it makes it more fun sometimes. Like there, I literally had to full force brake to not crash. And there's literally nothing I could do, apart from brake as much as I could do, and... Yeah. And if they report me for it, and I get banned for it, I could just show them the video proof that... I had a random roadside event. There we go. And now what's my... I don't even know... Seriously, I've got like 60% damage because of that. Well, I've got the video proof. If anyone wants to do X motion up time and it'll lock so I can lock the time. Just just after two hours. Alright. So I've got the video proof of what just happened there. There was really no reason for that. Yeah, I don't have an unlock uh, command. But welcome back. Right, basically now we're just going to go to the garage to, to get ourselves fixed up from 50% damage. Because, with doing a World of Trucks mission, if you get any kind of damage to your truck or you get flipped, uh, you've got to start your whole mission again because you've lost your you've lost your delivery, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. So that person literally just ran me and grieved and did that for no reason whatsoever. Like I I did what I could, I broke as hard as I could to to stop myself from getting to stop anything from getting any damage. Thank you for the host, Gray. Come on, please make it to the, to the stage, to it. We're not that far away from the, the state, from the area to do it. Reed, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Starting Line. Hope you are having a great day there. Much appreciated. I'm just hoping I can get to the, to the, to the station in time. Not the station. Um... The repair shop to get myself repaired to carry on with the delivery. I'm not going to get the the full delivery amount for this, but it'll still count towards my deliveries, which is what I'm needing it to. I'm having a great day because I'm getting 250 spots a minute. Nice. Now, even though I've got damage, I don't really want to go around corners too fast because then otherwise I'll get more damage. But that was completely out. That was completely... Yeah. That was completely... Not necessary. There's a guy coming up behind me now. I've got my warnings on because I can break down. Which is what you need to do when you're on the server. Okay.
because you're probably in sub smiles. Yeah. Oh. Seriously, I'm like right here and have an Avenger malfunction. Well, I made it here. See how much it's going to cost to repair this. 60,000 pound because that guy was an idiot. And just rammed me because I tried to break. Oh well. I repaired the truck anyway, so we're going to be able to get this delivery done. Was it Danny before as well that did it? Yeah, it was that guy. Ace Gangster, thanks for the host. Thanks for the host. Follow, much appreciated. Thanks for the starting line. But yeah, I absolutely could not do anything there. Okay. That's, uh... Yeah, Mouse goes live soon. Which is no problem at all. Yeah, that's, that's completely fine. Go and enjoy Miles. I'll probably be over there in a little bit myself. I've got this delivery to do. And then I've got another one after this. You might just see a thief stay Nice. Hey, Jax. Everyone's coming in now for Miles going live in a few minutes' time. So, I hope everyone enjoys Miles' stream. Playing Sea of Thieves or what, what not, where he does play. Um, and yeah. I'm just gonna carry on the rest of this, uh, rest of the drive. Get this delivery done, and then another one after this. Get all my mission, my mission drives done, and then join you all watching Miles. <laughs> This guy's coming up behind me again. Mm -hmm. Anyway. That guy's looking to behave now, so... We'll see what happens. I 
I don't even know how long left we've got on this delivery now. We should be coming up to the... What do you call it? The train soon. Yeah, we must be coming up to the train soon. Yeah, we're coming up to the train soon, going back into London. Um, we'll go to the UK, back into London, and then we'll go and do our last delivery, which will be from... Uh, Cologne. Yeah, so turn off the ferry here. And we're going straight to the. Yeah. Good. Good. Like I said, it's just a matter of sitting back and relaxing. And make sure we don't crash again. Sometimes I just get desync and I can't help it, and sometimes random roadside events and I can't help it. Yeah. I should probably turn off random most events at some point. Paperwork time, head in, uh, then head home. Uh, eat dinner. No racing. Enjoy your paperwork and uh, your food. <laughs> and obviously the, the, the yeah, just, just enjoy paperwork. Always fun. We've got this, like I said, we've got this delivery to do, then we've got one more after this. So we should be good. Okay. Go. We got trailer damage there. How? Anyway, it should count. I'm hoping it counts. So we've got a bit of a drive now to London. There we go. Nearly got three million pound in the bank. Three million euros in the bank. Awesome. But yeah, that guy ramming it into me, he was like, just no. I've got it videoed and I'm going to report them any after the fact anyway. There's nothing I could do about the road random roadside event. I stopped as much, I stopped as quick as I could do. And they were just taking on, they, um, yeah. Here we go, back into the UK, back on the, to the left side of the road. Nice. I just thought I'm not able to see any report numbers in the VOD anyway because uh, I'm currently covering the chat. <laughs> that doesn't help. Either way, we're on the way to London.
Yeah. We'll just go to the shorter journey next for the Cologne one. I don't think there'll be an update to drive down to Cologne from here. So we'll go Frankfurt and then see if we can uh, drive up. Oh look, see how far, far that got you from uh, overtaking me. Not that far enough, did it? Not that far enough did at all. Not that far at all. Mm -hmm. What you get for going too fast. Why are we? No, mm -hmm. oh, trying to catch to his friend. Is that what he was doing? Just stupid. It's very stupid. Yeah, we've not got that, that long to go now. I should I should be okay though with the. Uh, yeah, a little. A bit, it should be acceptable. It should count towards the delivery. If not, that would be very annoying. Because it's not my fault, really, realistically, that it's damaged. Should be coming out of their insurance, but apparently, this game, we don't have insurance at the moment. But we do, but we don't at the same time. If any of that make that doesn't make any sense, but yeah, no insurance. If you could buy insurance, that'd be great. But obviously, multiplayer wise, it doesn't really make sense because you can't really claim on someone else's insurance for damage. Either way, we're doing good. Just something too far to get this delivery. Not the same place we dropped the last one off. But this time we've got 12% damage to it because of a stupid driver. Plus another 6%, so. Don't know what that's going to mean. Either way, we'll get there in no time. With one more delivery to go, that's all good. Okay. Um, seriously? Mm -hmm. Did that just before I could, uh, get them. There's another guy with a... Delivery. Yeah, 
There we go. Well, I think it's the next turn off for us, possibly. Okay, that's fine. There's a lot of people going to this drop-off point, isn't there? A lot of people. But then again, it is a it is a mission delivery point, so it kind of makes sense doing that, then, doesn't it? But we'll just get we'll be getting here in a second and getting this delivery dropped off. So good. Start slowing down for the corner. Hopefully this person doesn't topple over like we've seen so many people already doing. Awesome. I can't remember what lane we had to be in. Guessing it is this lane. Got a lot of trucks up front here, haven't we? one behind us as well now. This is where it gets a lot more difficult when there's a lot of people around. Same delivery pot spot as well. And just got it's got no collision zone for these parking jobs. There we go. 
and then we should have reasonable. It was six, yeah, it was quite very damaged. Now, is there any contracts now down to Cologne? Because that's the last job we have to do. Not on there. Any freight market ones to it? Calais. Calais. What about from there? Because that is a ferry, isn't it? That doesn't have any. What about there? No. Let's teleport down to Frankfurt so that we can drive up to uh, Cologne. To get our final delivery done of the day. Well, maybe. In fact, well, final mission delivery. Did that actually count, though? I need, to, I need to check. I forgot to check if that counted. Yes, it did. For additional awards to complete a, uh, a delivery to at least five. Oh, at least five different locations. I think we've got at least four. We might have five, possibly. Um, can't exactly remember now. But we're going to try. We're going to see if we've got any jobs up to Cologne now. None of those. Any freight markets? No. So we just have to go world map and drive up there. Which, like I said, it's fine. It's not as if we're going to... What do you call it? We're not going to lose out on anything for doing that. We just don't get... We just don't get a bit of money for driving that location. Drive through the garage. Because it's easier than doing a doing a re reverse turn. Don't need any fuel. It was as if we were here about half an hour ago. Yeah, I'm waiting for traffic lights. You just got to wait for me. There we go. It'd be great if we got the five different locations, but I'm not not sure we do, sadly. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. I'm not sure that we do have a uh, five different delivery locations. I know we've at least got four. Um, there's a possibility of five, but no, we definitely got four. So we did four to our first location. We did one to a second location. Three to another location, and three to another location. That yeah. So that will be um, four locations. If I'd planned it out a lot better, I could have got the other locations as well, but it just wasn't possible, really. We're going to speed up a little bit. And you saw down to 55 to the corner. We don't want to topple our trailer or tr truck over at all. We don't want to damage anything. 
And I'm glad I'm glad we slowed down because we just had a bit of desync there, and that would have been a bad having desync at like 90 miles an hour. And we're already at 93 right there. Whoa! We're definitely gonna have to go and get repaired now. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, be careful a bit. Wow. Yeah, that was a that was a little bit of a Yeah, just a little bit. Well, as long as we get there in one piece, we can go and get ourselves repaired again and uh get our final delivery done to from Cologne. If we somehow have got the five different delivery locations, that'll be incredible. I know we've definitely got four. But if we've got five, that'd be even better. Even so, it's it's, it's a good uh, good mission that we've gonna come go gonna complete either way. If we've got the extra bit, we got the extra bit. If we don't. We don't. But like I said, we're heading to Cologne. We're going to get our last delivery done. Yeah, I should probably have that on just in case. Because uh, hazard lights are always good in case other trucks start driving up behind me and I just randomly brake. Okay. I don't, I don't even know how far this is up that we need to go. Should be too far. Yeah, it always happens to be when I'm on a, when I'm in my normal truck, just in my truck, end up uh, get a little bit of damage, just that little bit of damage. Apart from that, we're fine. Just hope this engine holds out. None of those say cologne. We definitely put a location in for, for Cologne. Yeah? I think we'd hit, otherwise we're going completely the wrong direction and that won't be good. Won't be good at all. I think this is the most about about to repair trucks. This is the most about to repair trucks in one uh, one session. Some of it was for my stupidity, but others were just like random roadside event, and then someone decided to cut me off because I had to slow down because of a random roadside event, which I couldn't help. Okay. 
54 miles. Should do fine. Oh, we're nearly at 3 million. Nearly at 3 million in the bank right now. When we get to another 5 million, we're going to be buying another garage. Uh, getting it all um, staffed and staffed up and getting trucks in and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I just need to hit 5 million for that. I'm just going to kick them out all with the same truck. Apart from one, we'll have a variation which will be for extremely heavy cargo. We need to check my drivers as well. It's been a while since I've checked my driver's level in status. So I can do that when we're, when we're about to pick up our next delivery. Be all good. So I'm going to throw on the signs above for where we're going. Although we're turning off here, so uh, mm -hmm. there we go. Back up to fifty five. Awesome. Getting a little bit of decent care in there. Good either. Mm -hmm. Nothing I can really do about desync. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> you just see random people topple off that, so it's just funny. It's just funny when you just see random people just drive by and topple over. Wow. I'm hoping we get here quick because, like I said, we're, we're kind, of, kind of damaged and we're getting desync as well. Which ain't good. Another turn off is this for Cologne? Might be. I'm gonna let all these go past first because obviously I'm a little bit damaged. So I'd rather they'll go, they'll go ahead of me, so I don't uh, randomly start braking because of uh, engine or um, anything else. So, let's just quickly uh, sneak around. So many people on the server today. So many people on the server today. We've entered the city, we're going to go get repaired.
go ourselves repaired and then we can go and pick up our delivery. I was just going to take cost to repair them for my stupidity. Sixteen thousand, not bad. We're going to be at two. We're going to be at three million in all time anyway. So, first things first. Handbrake on. Um, we'll manage drivers to make sure everyone's getting. Uh, yeah, you're doing just in time. You're doing fragile. Fragile. Yeah. You've done your high value. So it's the onto fragile. So doing your high value. You 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 need to do your long distance. You're doing your long distance. You started doing high value. You're doing high value. You're doing long distance. You're doing high value. Long distance. Eco good. Eco. Eco. You've got all your eco, so I'll switch you over to long distance. And you're doing one more eco, then you need to switch over to long distance. Good. Good. Um, minus one euro ten per mile. Right, we've done that. Let's get our last delivery started for the day. We're going to be heading up to London. Be heading up to London. Where's the London job? Wink. Yeah, we're in here. There we go. Just took a while to figure out. Alright, loaded in. Let's go get our delivery pickup. Should have no problems with this delivery. Should. Get ourselves comfortable for it. Maybe decent care in there would be the minimum thing we'll get. This is our last. Uh, the last real delivery we've got to do. <gasps> Did we get any damage for that? No. Oh, wow. No damage for crashing into the barrier when I didn't even see that this was a turn. <laughs> I thought we were going straight over there for some reason. Oh, we've been here before. This is the. Yeah, I've been here before. There are plenty of deliveries and pickups from this location in the past. Go. Just 
just reverse up and uh, then we'll be on our way. Nice. Very nice. We'll get this delivery done and um, that'll be it for today. Just takes about half an hour or so. About half an hour or so, I think. Okay. How many miles is this journey? This is off the, the slowest journey we've got. 400 odd miles, yeah, we're fine. Shut this down within half an hour maximum. Get ourselves comfortable, I guess. Nice. This person's going to try and overtake us. Whoa! Don't know if I got any damage to that. Any damage at all? Then you have to check in a second. No, I was lucky. I was just lucky. See, it's like quirkiness like that that happens as well sometimes. Nothing really can do about it. Is there someone currently on the on the the ramp? at him twice and he's not moving. Mm -hmm. There we go, finally. up to speed. I'm going to go around the corner, he's going to be flipped over at some point, won't he? Exactly what's probably going to happen. Will we go on the ferry this time, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Either way though. Nice nice little drive. We should have this finished up by the hopefully by the hour maybe. Yeah, only about four hundred miles and part of that's gonna be on the fer on the on the ferry. Well ferry or train. So no reason why we shouldn't get um get it done. Uh, 
If someone steady wins the race, I guess. And there's a truck up here. Oh, it's coming towards us. What's this guy doing now? Stop stopping in the middle of the road. It's just annoying if they're like in the middle of the road and you've got to go around them. I've had it before where they've literally come up the, the wrong way and deliberately blocked people from going round. Which honestly can get annoying as well, so... Take everything with a grain of salt on the server. You never know what's going to happen. Some things can be a legitimate accident and they'll say sorry. Other times they will just do it on purpose and not say sorry at all. Been overtaken by going an extra one mile an hour. They literally just went down and up. <laughs> fair, fair play, fair play. Definitely someone coming over us, so give him space. Mm -hmm. no, there's no one on the GPS then, so so we couldn't didn't have yeah. This chair is just a bit slippy now. I don't know why it's like the seat started to go to, to like pitch down a bit. I don't know why. It just is. To be fair, I do sit forward like this, so it might have been that. We don't know. Has this guy pulled over as well? There we go. As long as I've got people behind me, I will indicate it definitely as well. Should I stay as, much, as far as this side as I can in case they need to, um, what do you call it, overtake? But then again, we're all limited to the same speed, so. It all depends on uh, whereabouts we get. Mm 
There we go. Absolutely nothing we could do there. Sells back up to 55. to these people behind me. They're still behind me, they're just a bit further behind me than before. Not that far, really. Really not that far. We'll be there in no time at all, like I said. Just a matter of um, getting to the location and uh, getting this dropped off. And that'll be us done for the day. And there something disconnects from... I think my chat just disconnects for a second. Have to slow down for this turn, I guess. Mm -hmm. That we normally do. Okay. Go up to fifty five, and we're all good. Nice. Like I said, just get over there, get back to London, get delivery dropped off, and it's all good. why I'm tired. Well, I was going to say, I don't know why I'm tired. I've only had like, four hours sleep, so that's probably why. Okay. Yeah, it's been a fun, it's been a fun stream today. Been a fun drive. Gave me to be... Are we just getting into France? Oh, we must be taking the ferry then if we're just getting into France now. It's going to be interesting. We should be finishing up the stream with over 3 million as well. I think Mix is having a problem with chat. It's a little bit of a problem. Yes, yeah, it was a different location we were at there. Might be still be the... Might still be a what do you call it? We might still be a, getting the train over. Possibly, there's a possibility of the ferry still. Um, hang on. Let me just pull over for a second so I can read that in chat. No whammy coupling. Uh, 
Uh, what's the chat icon? Z V C Y, there we go. No action was taken against player. Your report has timed out. Consider submitting a report with valid evidence on our website. So that was... I don't know which report ID that was. Either way, they timed out. So I wanted to figure out what it was. I don't know how much you can see on the chat on the, on the because uh, of where I was, well, well, where I am. But even so, um, nothing was taken. Which is a shame. Because, well, it's not a shame. I've got the video evidence to to forward it, so uh, we'll see. Anyway, we're not that far off from uh, where it is with uh, Gobin. We're going straight here, and it's the the ferry that's left, right. We're so we're going to the train, I think. Yeah, we're going to the train. That's another thing. I don't know if they count um, tolls or virtual truck, the virtual company. We'll have to see. Hoping it does, because that'll obviously be part of it all. Keep going straight because that's where we're going. Might have been might have been easier for us to get the the ferry, but obviously it's wanting us to get the train again. to slow down as much as I could then because of it. Yeah, sometimes we just have some problems with a uh, desync and we can't really do anything else. Apart from that though, we'll not that far left on this delivery. That was a sneeze and a half. Was a season and a half. Whoa! What was the point of that? How should I get damage wise? I didn't get any damage wise, but that was just annoying. Okay, 
here, not that far left here anyway to delivery point. Parker's control back on. And I'm outside event. Okay. Oh, decent. Come on. They're turning off there for some reason. I don't know why they are. I think they had the same kind of truck we had. Oh, they might be go they're going to the ferry. That's what they're doing. That's the way to the ferry, and this is the way to the train. Okay. Yeah, not that long now left. We've had a we've had a good day. We've had a few problems, and we've had a few people that it's just been hilarious that they've just toppled over or crashed or whatever. Um, some of it's been kind of karma because someone hit me and then uh, toppled over a few bit, or they they, they they just want to overtake and then we're going too fast and then toppled over. So I guess it's it's still good. It's all fun and games in the end, isn't it? But if you say sorry, it's sorry. But if you don't, then you get reported. That's just how the game works and how life works. If you don't follow the rules, um, expect to be reported. Anyway. Trains here. You go, uh, go over the train. Should have a then uh, uh, get this delivered into London. Final delivery of the day. Three hour stream, not bad for three hour for three and a few more deliveries. Uh, three mission deliveries and a few more other ones. Not bad at, at all. Mm -hmm. Like I might just like do three kind of uh, three hours of delivery wise for a general trucking Tuesday because then it makes it makes it, it it's it's enough for a video to be fair some some funny stuff happens sometimes some funny stuff don't happen that's what I'm getting the flavor from I was like wondering why what I'm tasting every time I need to burp and um Yeah, I was wondering what I could taste in my mouth, and it's a uh, Monster Munch pickled onion crisps or chips if you're American. Anyway, oh, we're so close to nearly uh, nearly a million in the bank, uh, three million in the bank. I think once we've gone, once we've done the London delivery, we'll teleport back up to. Uh, a home base up in uh, what's it called? Sheffield. And we'll go from there, really. Okay. But yeah, this guy didn't get that far ahead of me, did he? After he rammed me. There's no point. Then speeding off as well. Absolutely no point.
Okay. Just hoping they don't follow me this way because that'll be annoying. If they try and overtake me again. Especially when you shouldn't be overtaking on these kind of roads. That's what the two yellow white marks means, that you can't you shouldn't overtake on these roads. But some people will do it. Go up to 55. But yeah, I've reported people on the website before and some of them have been dealt with, some of them haven't. Sadly, that's just how the game works. Yeah, we do have a we do have at least one truck coming up behind us. I can see in the rearview mirror. At least I think I do. Yeah, it is the same guy as well. Even if he's going to the same location as me, if he rams me again, I'm reporting him again. Because this happened twice. Unlock the speed then. I'm just watching what they're doing because I don't want to don't want them hitting me out of the way again. And they're obviously going to try and overtake take me again. Or is this a new driver trying to overtake me? It's a new driver trying to overtake me still. Shouldn't really be overtake. Well, it should, but it shouldn't be. We're not on the simulation server, so you're not. Everyone's not all speed limited. Okay. Can't remember how far it is from now. 40 odd miles in the game. Not bad at all, actually. I've got someone speeding up behind me again. Same driver as well, so if he ends up hitting me. Still weird. I 
Or is this someone toppled over in front of us? Portland for blocking, and uh, we'll see what happens. Same place someone else fell over, was over before. You could try and get around there, but it's not going to work. Absolutely idiot. turn off and then we've got delivery done it's been an eventful day though <laughs> been definitely an eventful day with all these deliveries and uh, things happening very unevent very eventful day Been fun though. Been fun. If we get we get this last one done, we'll get the we'll we'll finish our missions and stuff, which is awesome. I'm heading into London now. I need to be in this lane for the turn. Turn our acceleration off and let us coast into the turn. No one really on tab anywhere close, so we can uh, be free to take the turn in. Nice. We have to stay in this lane as well for the t next turn. Awesome though, we're doing, we're, we've done well today. We've got the last three done. We've got actually four deliveries all together done. It's quite a lot of stuff done today. Crazy. Very much a lot of stuff done. And our final mission for the day. Our final delivery. Not coming up to the delivery point. Nice. 
hopefully we've got to do some park, like a simple park job this time. We've had, I think all of our deliveries today have been all reverse ones. So maybe it'll give us the, the easy one. Just maybe. We're hoping. We're definitely hoping. There's so many people here already as well. It could possibly be a easy delivery point. And yes, it is. Found delivery of the day. Let's just keep pulling forward. Drop the trailer. Nice. Nearly level 43. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We're so close to 3 million. Did that just say event complete? Event completed. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let's teleport from up to our Sheffield garage. Our home base in the... Well, our home base in the UK, really. Um... Like I said, once we get five million, we're gonna get another another garage, um, and that's just us over the three million mark. So that's gonna be it for me for streaming today. Uh, I'm gonna throw a host over to Miles Pernicious uh, just after I've got when I've when the, the the game well finished up the stream now. So I'm gonna be um, throwing the host over to Miles Pernicious. It's just gonna be a host. Um, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a, like I said, it's been a fun stream today. Um, yeah, very fun stream today. Did four deliveries today, which is always good. Thank you everyone for stopping by. Thank you for the follows. Um, I'll go over and find Miles's page, and then we'll go and uh, throw my host over. Thank you everyone for stopping by. Um, hopefully be back again tomorrow with some satisfactory. That's the plan anyway. So I will see you tomorrow for the next stream. Thank you for stopping by.